Emmanuel. Where do I begin? Since our first date, when people have asked me what I love about you, I have had to pause before I answered. It was hard to choose which of your qualities I wanted to begin with. List any quality and you exemplify it so lovingly. God gave me you so that I could feel his love for me on earth at all times. That warmth I would feel from God has not left since you came into my life. I have told friends that I have felt like I have been running and remained unsettled for years. When I met you, everything changed. I have not wanted to leave your side since the moment that I laid my eyes on you. Writing these vows, I kept crying in disbelief and shaking my head because I cannot believe that I get to marry you. This is my vow to you, to strive to love you as much as you love me, to be as loyal to you as you are to in and out oh, and to me, I guess. I pledge to never leave your side. I promise to take care of you every time you have the man flu and the actual flu. <laughs> And I vow to always push you towards God, because if I don't, you would not have enough patience to deal with me. I promise to trust you and how you lead our family. I will be proud of you and say I love you every day of my life. I pledge to be your best friend. And in my best friend duties, it states I have to tickle you often, annoy you daily, get up to no good with you, and make you laugh until you cry. I am praying that you agree to the best friend terms because I am in trouble if you <laughs> decline to accept. I rely on you now. Emmanuel Bisseroff Borisov. I promise to become a better wife to you every day because you deserve the best. You are perfect. You are my soulmate. You were crafted for me. I cannot wait to start the greatest adventure of my life in marrying you. I love you. These three words are so simple but can't even come close to describe how I feel about you. I love your laugh. From the day that I met you, it gave me warmth and joy. Seeing you crack up to the point of tears always brightens my day. I promise to keep making you laugh as long as you think my jokes are funny, which let's be honest, they are. From our first date, after weeks of trying to get your number, I knew you were the one. Your adventurous spirit immediately caught my attention and our one date turned to many. I vowed to be by your side forever, going through life's peaks and valleys together. I promise to take care of you and keep you safe. Wherever Christ leads us in this life together, I am ready. By the power vested in me by Jesus Christ our Savior as a minister of the gospel and by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Emmanuel, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Susan and I are happy that she has finally found the one. We have traveled with her through many excursions, and when Emmanuel came along, we were happy she had finally arrived. So we feel we have another son before we have a son-in-law. We have been blessed. They did not want to follow the world's standards. They wanted to be an acceptable sacrifice. I honored them for that, so it was time. tell you, uh, Faye, that Emmanuel is not a quitter. He won't give up on you and he won't give up on marriage. Emmanuel managed somehow to get a wife for himself and a daughter for us. My wife always wanted to have a daughter and I tried my best, but we never, <laughs> never ended up with a daughter until today. <laughs> 